locked in. Today is my one year anniversary since my top surgery. And yeah, here we are, one year later. Crazy, man. Never thought this day would happen and now I'm like already one year in. Just a reminder that if you want something in life, you can make it happen. I got a new haircut done by yours truly, myself. Fun fact, I kept my own hair. Happy with how it turned out. Nice fade. Yeah, nice to be back. It feels good to be back with short hair. No more hats. I honestly just wore hats because my hair was just a mess, a really weird length. I mean, I guess you're right. Oh. Okay, what's up? Currently, I am about to uh, <laughs> film and help my friend Kendall here come here. Or um, we don't whatever, know whatever <laughs> name he's gonna choose, uh, <laughs> artist name. Yeah, we're like on set. We have like two different rooms. We're setting up, trying to figure out the situation. This is like room one. I think it looks really cool. It's very like authentic, very like acoustic, artistic, artistic, artistic and acoustic, acoustic vibes, man. <laughs> Look at this. What, what is up? What is up? Thank you. I did it myself. What? Wait, I might need you to do mine. Oh, easily. Yeah, yeah. I got my own hair. Yeah. Background I, here, yeah. Well, Megan helps me with like the back, green element, right. which, and then, but then we need to motivate you. you know, softness. I feel you it. You can be in it. I like it. This looks yeah. cool. I love this. I love this yeah. Added another tree. Here's playing the guitar. Like. Yeah. 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 That looks really cool. Nice. I think it'd be great right there. Yeah. You just walked in. Dude, that's crazy. Like, yo, yo. So we just wrapped up filming, shooting. It was really good. It looks sick. It was Kendall sounded really good. It was sick. How did you feel? It felt amazing. My first time filming a live video as my current self, which was amazing. So uh, it was really good. It was hot, but <laughs> hot yeah. in two was, way. Yeah. But it was fun. Like Cal was wearing cool. a tank top. Yeah. <laughs> and we were still sweating. <laughs> yeah. Then, Anyway, yeah. it was dope. What else we Yeah, say? that's it. Okay. <laughs> you guys are so cute ahead of time. That's it. <laughs> I wanted to quickly show you guys how I edit my photos in Adobe Lightroom. If you want to be quick and efficient, have a creative formula that you can repeat over and over again really efficiently. So it's important to have a couple of different presets depending on the type of photo. So it can be one for sunny, cloudy, evening, night, inside, outside. In my opinion, I like consistency. I like having like the style that is like, this is my style. The first thing is exposure. I like to go right to the tone curve because this is where I do most of the exposure. Most people's goal is to have a S curve that is boosted highlights and then lower shadows. I would drag this down. I always tend to bend this instead of it being straight up. I like to curve it a tiny bit because it makes the, the highlights um, like softer. Then I do color correction, not to confuse that with color grading. All I do is I just find something white, this thing, press on it. Not that much change, but it helps. So I like having a contrast between the shadows and highlights. So I'm gonna actually push these down a bit. The color tabs is where it's at. Personal preference, 
but what I like to do is I like the green to be a bit cooler green but to lower the saturation because this is like too much colors for my liking I do push the yellows a bit more towards the orange side normally I lower the saturation orange a lot but because it's already kind of weak I will actually push this up a bit so that you get you see how the, nice this orange is not too many colors here so i want few colors to pop and that's the reason why i'm doing this right now you see how ugly that is typically i lower the yellow with the orange and the red but because of the circumstances then i go to color grading which is equally as important tab i would say i don't really touch too much mid-tones uh, i do shadows and highlights almost all shadows i do are on the bluer side or i want the photos to be a bit you know green and brown because we're out in nature and i want to enhance that feeling but i do have like my style that i like highlights um typically i go yellows greens actually add some veneting meaning darker corners calibration i feel a lot of people don't use this but this is actually very helpful or it's a hue wheel i guess like if you want your photos to look more dynamic like less flat and boring you have to add gradients i normally just do the linear gradient and i do one dark and one bright darker and as you can see it just creates more of a i don't know how to explain it but you you get what i'm saying before it's very green overexposed and then this is after and this is much more cinematic you can tell it's more moody and then i copy it i go to the next photo i just paste it Ooh, there you go i hope you like this part of the video as you can tell i've been incorporating behind the scenes and how to videos in my vlogs because you know i just thought maybe this is something people are curious about or people want to see like how i you know just create my content but if people don't care about this i don't have to shoot this like i can continue just like my other life stuff but obviously creating content is a big part of my life so it kind of just makes sense but yeah that's pretty much it 